Hi, I'm Eric Folks, Instructional Technology Coordinator for Lampasas ISD, and today we're going to talk about how we can use Box in order to upload and share files with our students. If you go to box.com and click on the Sign Up, you'll notice that there are a few different types of accounts that you can get, including a free personal account. Now, if you are to sign up for a box.com account, I would encourage you to use your school email address because when you do, you can call them and upgrade your account to 25 gigabytes of free space. That is a very significant amount of free storage space. Uh, normally, you're going to be limited to the five, 5 gigabytes for a free account, but if you use your school account, and call them and contact them, uh, there's a good possibility you can get yours upgraded to 25 gigs as a educational account. Once you get your account set up, then you have the ability to create folders and upload files to those folders just like you would in Dropbox or Google Drive, but it's also really clean and easy and simple for you to embed those folders on the website. So I'm going to go ahead and create a folder and add a couple files to it and show you how easy it is to embed it on your teacher site and how it looks. So I'm going to say new folder. I'm going to keep it private for now. Once that folder is created, I can just click on it to go into it. And then I can upload files. So I'm going to upload a PDF and a Word document. Just hold down control and you can select multiple files. And then I'm going to upload some images. All right, and you can see the progress there. You'll notice that uh, Box really excels at uh, a team approach to file management. You can assign particular tasks, comment on files, you can create shared folders and collaborate with other people as well. Some of those things that Dropbox can do as well, um, but Dropbox doesn't have anything uh, like Box does in the way of assigning tasks to specific people. All right, so it gives me a little update at the top there that these files were added to the folder. So now we've got images, a PDF, and a Word document. So uh, now I'm going to go back out of my folder and head down here, and I'm going to share that folder. So you'll notice that we've got a few different options, including the ability to, under the share, embed the folder in your site. So I'm going to click on that and I can choose how big I want the uh, folder to be. I'm going to just go with uh, a large and we have options for how it's going to appear. I'm going to just leave it with all the defaults there. I just set it to large and that's all I did. So I just click on the embed code and press Control C or Command C on a Mac to copy that to the clipboard or I can just click the link down here to copy it to the clipboard and then close it out. Then I go over to my teacher sites and log in. And I'm going to just create a new subpage just for the box test. You could put this on any of your pages. And I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to click on the HTML. Now once I've clicked on the HTML, all I need to do is right click and paste or control V to paste. And I click back on design and save. And now I'm going to view the page. So in this browser, I'm logged into Box. This typically will only happen in the browser that you're actually logged into Box, but I'm going to drag this little cloud over here into place in order to see how it appear. But what's nice about this is now they have the ability to click on any of these files to download them. But Box has some other abilities as well. Let's say I want to take in my test folder and create a new folder within it for the images. So now I'm going to take these images 
and I'm going to move them into my image folder. And now I go back to my page where I've got this all embedded and I'm going to refresh it. And again, you shouldn't have to do this if you're not logged into your box account. And now you can see I've got a subfolder for the images. So I can just click on that folder and now it shows that I'm from all files, I'm in the test folder, and within that I'm in the images folder. So they're given a very easy to follow, very Windows Explorer-like uh, ability to navigate the levels and how deep they are in there. So you can create folders upon folders and organize your files and resources that you want to share with students that way. <clears throat> and if they want to download any of those things, uh, it's pretty easy. They have the ability to preview most of the file types, to download them, um, all sorts of different things. Let's see what it looks like when we are not logged into Box in terms of options, because there were a lot of options there. And I think uh, most of those are due to the fact that I'm already logged in. So I'm going to take this subpage and I'm going to go into a different browser where I'm not logged into Box. And first thing you'll notice is I didn't have to drag the cloud because I wasn't logged into that particular one. So now let's see the options that we have. Well, when I'm not logged in to Box as the owner of these files, I have the ability to preview it or to download it by default. Same thing with this PDF and with the images. So if I go into my images folder, I can click to download or preview those things as well. All right, so it's pretty straightforward, uh, but I think very valuable. As you can see, it's a very clean and easy way to share resources with your students. If you have any questions or would like to try this out, I'd be more than happy to help you do that. Just contact me or Lori Ramsey, and we'll go from there. Thank you for your time.